welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tatiana and today I'm back with another video before I get this video started you guys make sure you go subscribe turn on the notifications and give this video a big thumbs up and smash that like button and definitely make sure that you don't forget to go turn on the post notifications which is the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video so you guys by the time of this video, I'm back with another weekly vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing in this video, you guys. I feel like it's been like a little minute since I actually sat down and like really been intentional about doing a vlog. Ciao. I don't know. It's just like that mother instinct. Like when you hear your baby cry, you be having to listen in a little bit like... What is she, what is she crying about? What is the cry? Not even what is she crying about? How is she crying? Like, what's the tone of the cry? Is she gonna take like a deep breath? Is it gonna be like a quick whine? Like you gotta listen to the cry, I don't know. And as a mom, we're gonna come ready. Like, if you know, you know. Um, don't even know what it was that I was saying or where it was that I left off. I was kind of like in my head a little bit like should I actually come and like give you guys more like topic videos or should I just stick with the vlogs you know as I'm building my followers we're really on the road to 100 subscribers right now I'm at like 84 so shout out to all 84 of you guys who have subscribed um but yeah today is this this week's vlog is going to be like a vlog like a week in my life um I know I'm going to be doing a poppy review which i'm super excited because i've heard about poppy um actually before i heard about olipop and if you guys didn't see i actually did an olipop review in this vlog that will be up here so you guys can go check that out um but this time i wanted to do like a comparison like which one's better poppy or olipop so i will be doing um a poppy uh, probiotics of the review in this video too um and like i said i don't know really what's gonna go on in this week's vlog but you guys will just have to stay tuned and see but before we get full into the video you guys know i gotta hit you with the verse of the day so the verse of the day is coming to you guys from proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 and it says the name of the lord is the strong tower the righteous man runs into it and is safe so when i was listening to that verse with matt earlier basically the guy was just explaining it like god is our safe place like god is like our shield god is like our tower like, we can run to him and know that we won't be knocked down like it just it just gives us like the the safetyness and like the the sense of like we are protected and we are safe so god's amazing get some jesus in your life and i also just want to add this like if you don't have a relationship with god like that should definitely be something that you should be aiming toward growing i know people feel differently about god people feel differently about religion but for me, one thing that I'm really learning is like it's deeper than religion. Like it's deeper than just saying like I'm a Christian. Like it's really that relationship that you have with God. And like I'm not perfect on my journey. Like I make mistakes as everybody does. Like, but I know my heart and I know that my heart is after God and just changing and really becoming the woman that he wants for me to be. So whoever needed that, like build your relationship with God because when you're filled with his strength and when you know that he just gives you peace and just even when you don't understand you still have a sense of peace like i don't know god's amazing so get some juice in your life but anyways you guys today i'm actually on my way to this influencer campaign uh like little brand deal that i got where i'm going to be going to take my family we're gonna be going to <laughs> Um, try cookies at this place called Dirty Dough. So today was their grand opening. Um, I could have went earlier in the day, but it's hot outside, number one. Number two, I had to take my braids out. Number three, it is their grand opening, so I didn't want to get there when there were like a bunch of people there. So right now, it's currently 514. Um, I think she's sleepy. I do have to take like a little, you know, a couple of pictures and stuff like that here and there, but it's probably going to be a cute little experience. I like going to places where I know they're going to have like little posters and like just a whole little fun good time. And we're trying cookies. Like who doesn't like cookies? I get to take home my whole little box and stuff, little like create what it is that I want in my cookie box. So I'm excited for that. Um, and I'll show you guys little things here and there, but the main focus is to be able to take pictures and stuff like that since 
I am going um, for like a little campaign and I have to be focused on taking the pictures more so than focusing on getting content. I'll still get some things for you guys, but the main focus is setting up my tripod for pictures because it's like a family event. So anyway, before we head out, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So I just have on this white and black romper. I actually got this a while ago, I think from Forever 21, years ago, you guys, years ago. And I'm wearing my low top Air Ones. And then I've got my black with a little gold accessorized at my Bacorus purse and my gold earrings to match with the natural face and the edges and the natural hair, okay? And the clip because it's hot outside and we just wanna be natural and it's just like a little simple uh, low event that we're going to. So yeah, I'll see you guys there, let's go.
promote health and wellness products but not just any health and wellness products vitamins to be real specific because there's nothing like thrive okay i don't care what you heard about it if you need energy if you need weight management if you need mood support if you need joint support digestive support all of those things i'm your girl just put it in the comments or go find me on instagram um my instagram link is always in the description um but yeah i need to get my hair done for that don't know like I said if it's gonna be in this vlog or if it's going to be in the next vlog of me like preparing for uh, Florida slash going to Florida um, but today we are going to be doing the poppy review as we do a taco mukbang I'm gonna do it with the girls they've been asking me to drink the poppies forever and I have basically just been ignoring them because I wanted to do it on camera. I didn't want to like drink them separately or I didn't want to drink it by myself. So the girls are going to do that with me. So we'll probably have tacos tonight for dinner with the poppy review. Um, and I don't know what else today is going to consist of, but just stay tuned. You guys always know I'm doing something. And if I'm not doing something, then nothing will be done. <laughs> But just stay tuned to see what we're doing. Like I said, I'm on the way to the dentist right now. So I will see you guys when we get there. so it is way later on in the vlog i'm back home clearly um after we left the dentist which the dentist was just exhausting first of all my camera died which i knew it was dying i needed to actually get like more batteries so that i could just have multiple batteries charging and have them with me just in case the current one that i'm using dies 
um, so I had to switch to my phone but also we got some exhausting news um, I was with all three kids as you guys saw and Kahari just be all over the place so she was starting to get antsy so I was recording on my phone but then I just stopped recording in a hole because it was hard to like hold her I wasn't able to put her in the shoulder um, and then really listen to what the dentist was saying and then when he started checking on the girl's teeth they gave us like some discouraging news with Kehlani and so she's been complaining about her tooth hurting for a little minute uh, which is not all the way my fault it's not all the way her fault I really should have taken her to the dentist but I swear like <laughs> when you just have so many things on your plate I really feel like moms know specifically what I'm talking about because primarily we are the ones that handle mostly everything like leaving it to our husbands leaving it to our male significant others or you know whatever um they don't always do the important things especially when it comes to booking appointments like enrolling kids in the school like making sure all the bills are paid like all of the things that have to be done and this is something that me and my husband are talking about too like but that's a whole nother story we'll come back and talk about that at a different time i don't want to shoot too much out there that i'm not even trying to shoot but um the dentist was telling me that she has three well four cavities four four cavities how do you have four cavities when you brush your teeth in the morning and at night and one of those cavities has gotten so bad that she's gonna have to have a root canal and so I feel bad because she was telling me about it but just with everything that I've had in my mind I've always said okay I'm gonna like make sure your guys' insurance is together I'm gonna make sure that I make you guys a dentist appointment but then I have the baby that has appointments and I just have all this stuff like no excuses if you're a mom you just already know drop in the comments if you already know where I'm going with this like sometimes things just slip your mind whether it's stuff with the kids stuff that has to be taken care of with you like something falls through the cracks somewhere and that was just one of the things that fell through the cracks me taking her to the dentist um but again my kids take care of their teeth they brush their teeth morning and at night i'm not a parent that lets like lets them drink a whole bunch of soda juice all day candy chips cookies like I, they don't do that i do let my kids have snacks but another thing with kehlani she likes to play around with her toothbrush a lot she plays around when she's brushing her teeth so I don't want to take full responsibility for not taking her to the dentist because Kylan hadn't been to the dentist either and she had no cavities. She was just fine. But I always tell Kehlani, like when you're brushing your teeth, you need to make sure that you get all the way in the back. You know, you have to make sure you spend time brushing your teeth, make sure you have enough toothpaste, like all the things. So for her to have four cavities, one of those being a root canal, the other three, they're going to actually have to give her fillings and like put shots in her mouth. And I've talked to you guys about my dentist journey. so. That was just frustrating information, but we got home. I took the girls to Burger King and I got some Burger King too because yeah, like I didn't want to go to the store. I'm on my cycle. You guys, it's my second day and I've just been feeling blah. Like my periods are starting to get a lot heavier now that I'm like really done. I don't breastfeed Kahari anymore, but she likes to be attached to the boob for like comfort. So now that it's like my body, I think is not really making milk really at all anymore like my periods are starting to come back i wasn't cramping or anything but just the feeling of like bleeding out just ugh, don't i don't want to go nowhere so i've been kind of just doing stuff around the house i had a call today oh i want to tell you guys anytime that you are eating something when you're on a semi journey of working on your body i'm not gonna say a weight loss journey i'm not gonna say a diet because i don't do none of that i just be on a journey of trying to make sure that i am working on my body to make sure that it looks the way that it wants to look so when you're on that journey and you slip up eating things that you probably know is not going to get you anywhere close to that journey treat mail treat mail is what you need treat mail is what you want i will make sure that i put the link to which i should have been doing because i've been talking to you guys about thrive for a minute i'll put the link in the description it is free to create an account so you can actually browse through and take a look at everything that i've been telling you guys about if you decide that you want to shop if you guys want to see all that is out there all the things that i'd be talking about definitely go click the link in the description create your free thrive account so let's talk about timu so if you guys haven't seen the video that i posted um it will it was the video before this one most likely it was a video before this one sometimes i'll be getting my videos out in a different order that i don't plan to but i think i posted i think i'm going to be posting this one right after posting my team haul but 
When they first reached out to me, I already knew who Timu was because I saw one of my I saw one of the girls that I watch on YouTube. Her name is McKenna Walker, I believe. I don't be remembering nobody like that, but McKenna. Um, I saw that she posted some things that she got her little mini haul. And so I was like, oh wow, like they reached out to me. That's cool. I've been wanting to do more brand deals with more companies that were known anyway, instead of just, you know, small companies. Not to say that I don't want to support small companies because shameless plug, Hefe Dreams is my small company. So that link will be in the description too. Go ahead and check it out. Get a hat, get a shirt and follow me on Instagram on that page, Hefe Dreams. Um, but um, I, I thought it was cool that they reached out to me because I like to shop, but my funds don't be matching up what I'd be wanting to do sometimes. So I was like, cool, I get to pick out some free clothes, blah, 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 whatever. So when they first reached out to me, I was like, okay, like I'll do it, but not for the amount that you guys are asking me for like per what it is that you want me to do so just like a quick little influencer tip for anybody who's trying to get out there don't be afraid to negotiate right like if they're asking for all of these deliverables but they only want to offer you a certain amount of dollars that you don't think is worth it don't be afraid to negotiate a little bit and let them know like hey i'll do this but for this amount or i'll do it for that amount but i'm not going to do this like whatever you feel comfortable don't be afraid of negotiating so that's kind of what i was doing back and forth but Finally, I just decided to say like, okay, I'll take it. Like we were able to kind of meet in the middle with something. Um, I was able to pick out some really nice things and I, I was good, they was good. Boom, I get my package, I start making content and I tell them that I'm getting ready to post my content. I'm not, I'm not gonna say like I'm seasoned in the game of creating content for brands, but I will say I've done it quite a few times and this was one of the times for me that I was just like, okay like i know you guys are a new company but y'all are gonna have to eat this mistake that you made because anytime that i've worked with a brand they've always told me what it was that they were expecting how i was gonna get paid like there was never any confusion i would give them the content they would pay me we would all go on happy about our day right well with timu they were not clear from the very beginning on what it is that they expected so when i sent them my first piece of content which I feel like anything that I put together when it comes to content, it's quality. Like, I don't want for my face to be a part of somebody's brand if they put it on their website or any content that I'm putting out to my audience to look like crap. So I know that I'm always going to put like my best, my A game into anything that I'm creating. So I go and I send it to them. They wanted three videos, by the way. Three videos on Instagram was what we came to the conclusion with for a set amount of money. Um, so I sent them my first piece of content and they basically were like, no, we don't want that. We want it to look like this and you have to do that. And that was a, like an automatic turn off for me because I was like, again, from the very beginning, you guys did not tell me all that you wanted or what you expected. You just said three videos and knowing the kind of quality that I put out, I, t I put effort into what it was that I was recording. So I'm going back and forth with them literally for a couple of days because I'm just like, this is not right. Like you guys, I understand you're a new company and they admitted to being a new company and not knowing everything and making mistakes and this and that, but they were not willing to budge off of the fact that they were telling me that they did not want my content after not even being clear from the very beginning on what they wanted in the first place. They said three videos. I gave them three videos. That's what they should have took. Instead of being like, no, we wanted to be like this and like that after the fact that I had already created the content. So that was a little hiccup. That took a little minute. Um, and it just seemed like every time I would send them videos, they were not liking what it was that I was making. Again, anytime I've ever worked with any other brand, clothing brands at that, this is not my first time working with a brand that sold clothes. They were not tripping about what it was that I was posting, but it just seems like they were just so like rah, about everything that I was giving to them. So now it comes time to receive payment. I submitted everything. I let them boost my content. They approved all my content. Now it's time to get paid. They were paying me through PayPal. They're paying me through PayPal. So anytime I've been paid through PayPal, you get my email. You put my email in, you send me the money, I get the money, case closed. <laughs>
Done deal. Da 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 da. You go about your way, I go about my way, we good. But with Timu, for whatever reason, it was gonna take them a week to authorize my information. Now I'm telling y'all, I thought I got scammed. I'm not even playing. Like I, I was happy with the clothes, but I wasn't happy because I already put out all the content. I already put out, did everything that y'all asked me to do. I already promoted y'all, everything like that. And I still don't have no money. Where the money at? Where my money at? So by the time they sent me the money, y'all, they were asking for me to give them my account information, my username. Girl, what account information and what username for PayPal? Never heard of it. So I'm telling them, like, I really want to tell people that you guys are out here scamming people. Like, not that I thought that they were scamming people because they are a legit site. Like, the clothes are nice. Like, I wasn't lying about that. I did like every single thing that I had. Make sure that you guys go watch the video. It'll be up there. Just go ahead and click that thing. But all the excuses, nothing was adding up, nothing made sense. Never was I ever asked for an email or a username. Anytime a brand was paying me through PayPal, it just seemed so weird. So I finally got my payment like two weeks later, maybe three weeks later after filling out the little form that they needed me to fill out. But it was just weird. So like, I'm not saying that this is everybody's experience. I'm not saying that everybody's gonna have to deal with the same thing. Some people might have got paid up front if they were a more experienced um, influencer, knew how to negotiate better, knew how to talk the talk. I don't know, like I said, like I'm not seasoned, but I also don't feel like I'm like new, new. I might be new, I'm not like new, new. I might be new, but I'm not seasoned, you know? So maybe like those seasoned influencers were able to say a thing or two to get their money up front or say a thing or two to get their money immediately after they post it, I don't know. But that was my experience. So just anybody who's thinking about working with Timu, just expect to kind of go on like a roller coaster. Cause it for sure wasn't smooth sailing. It wasn't smooth sailing and it's not that I wouldn't work with them again. I just feel like now I know what to expect. And the reason why I said that was because they were letting me know like if, you're, if your uh, content performs really well after we boost it, blah, 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 which it has been. My little video has been doing some numbers or whatever. They said that they would wanna work with me again in the future for other partnerships and I'm cool with that. I just feel like now, I, I know what to expect. Maybe the next couple of times it won't take two to three weeks for me to get paid because they already like considered me to be in the system. I don't know. It was just a little weird. So that's just my heads up. My little one two, my little experience with Timu so far. If you guys decide to work with them and it's your first time, just kind of expect that it might be a little up and down and around and around. And it's not just gonna be like walking a straight line because it wasn't for me, but. I told you guys that I was going to be doing like a taco mukbang. We had tacos for dinner last night, but by the time I got ready to try the poppies, it was already too late. The girls are asleep. And I did not want to open up all those sodas just for them to go bad um, or me trying to like finish all of them last night. So we're going to have leftovers. Like, well, not again. We're going to have leftovers tonight because there's a lot of meat left over and I don't have to cook. There's also a lot of beans and rice. And so what are we cooking for when there's it's leftovers in the in, in the refrigerator like why what are we cooking for we're not um and so when the girls wake up well kylan and kahari that's another thing i didn't tell you guys i came home after they had their lunch they took naps um and then when kehlani well not kehlani when kylan wakes up and a little bit later on right now it's just it's 3 40 so later i'll come back and do the poppy review video for you guys i'm really excited i did have one i'm not gonna lie i did have one but it didn't really hit that it, it just didn't really hit like that the way that the ollie pop in that flavor did so i'm saying too much already i will come back and we'll do this thing together so i'll see you in a little bit oh my goodness you guys i guess i did not press record while i was trying the poppies at the very beginning so that's why you see they are all open <sighs> i don't know how i did that but we're gonna still continue the video do the mukbang with the girls and try the rest of the poppies on camera so at least you guys get to get a little bit of my review Girl, I don't even like Coca-Cola, but this is super good. Tastes just like it. Get one sip. Small sip. Small sip. 
small sip. <laughs> you think it tastes just like cola? Yeah. yeah. They've never even had a Coca Cola. Guys, mommy's eating right now, so we can get another puppy. That's what, guys. Costa Cola has 25 calories in it and 5 grams of sugar. I'm finding that the one with 5 grams of sugar tastes a whole lot better. Okay, next we'll do Raspberry Rose. This one has 4 grams of sugar, so. But it sounds so good. Hopefully it is good. Raspberry Rose just sounds like it's going to be like sweet, but like the right amount of like, I'm disappointed. Let me see. Another one of those water tasting sodas. <laughs> this would have to be one of my least favorites. Okay, so the last one that I have is the root beer poppy. Mm. I really do root beer, like I said already before, but comment below if you guys drink root beer. Like, my go-to soda was always Sprite or like strawberry soda. Never really the dark sodas, especially not root beer. This tastes like root beer. So if you're a fan, you would love this. And this one has 25 grams and, or 25 calories and five grams of sugar. So it seems like it's a pattern. So basically all of the sodas that are five grams of sugar taste better. Like literally all it needed was that one little gram. All of them would have been bomb, but the four grams of sugar ones, no. No, we might as well. Might as well make those water. Hey guys! So it's the next day from the last time I talked to you guys. Um, last time I talked to you guys, we were doing the uh, poppy review and having tacos with the girls. I didn't do anything else after that. Uh, we finished eating dinner and then really just relaxed for the rest of the night until it was time for them to go to bed. Um, but today, I've done some laundry. I had a couple of calls this morning, helped a couple of people start Thrive. I'm going to put the link, I don't know if I said this, but I'm going to put the link in the description because for those of you guys who are like, well, I want to get on Thrive, I want more energy, I see you always wearing that patch, I see you taking your capsules, you say they give you energy, you say they help you with mood support, weight management, all that kind of stuff, like I want to be on that. And I've never dropped the link, I've always just told you guys to go follow me on Instagram, but if you have not done that, I will make sure that I put the link in the description on this video um, but I'm currently at HEB right now I'm gonna go get dinner it's Tuesday so Kehlani has dance tonight um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to make something simple I'm trying to be back on the healthy kick because when I don't feel like cooking which I'm not like I'm not a person that just loves to be in the kitchen cooking some people love to cook me on the other hand I'm just like if I do I do if I don't we're going to Chipotle or we're gonna have pandas or something like that which we haven't got pandas as a family um in a little while um but i'm gonna cook tonight i'm gonna do big chicken i'm going to do um rice pilaf and then i'm going to do broccoli with cheese I love broccoli with cheese um and then like i said kelani has dance tonight so i don't want to cook anything too heavy anyway because i really don't have like a lot of time to cook um to where kelani can eat before we leave and then um we don't have to come home because we don't leave there until nine o'clock so we don't have to come home and then she's eating at like nine like nine o'clock we leave there at 8 30 we get home typically around nine so i don't like her eating when we get home because then she takes time to eat and then she has to take time to take a shower and by that time it's like 10 30 11 o'clock by the time she's getting in the bed and the night times are really like my time like i need those times for myself to be able to just regroup from my day um and get whatever done during the night that i didn't get to do during the day so I'm gonna go in here and grab that now and then I want to do her hair I was trying to see if I wanted to wait until closer to the time that I went to Florida 
um, but I don't want to have to do her hair every single day and I still need to do her hair for dance tonight she has dance Thursday and then she has dance next week Tuesday Thursday and I know that little ponytail it might last it might not I don't know um, I'm trying to think if I still want to do her hair but if I do I'm just going to like do like a feed in braid but I want to do a long braid so just gel up all her hair um, and then do a braid just going all the way down so I might or might not do that I haven't decided yet depends on what time I finish cooking dinner but yeah I want to bring you guys to HEB with me go inside and do a little quick grocery shopping with me and then and maybe or maybe not do Kehlani's hair when we get home so let's go in here this freaking place is packed, so I'm hoping to just get in and get out.
Hey guys, so it's been some days since I have last recorded the last clip that I showed you guys. I was Hi. taking Kaylani to. Hi! <laughs> I was taking Kaylani to dance class. She was already there. I showed you guys that. Um, and now we're back at the dentist because, as I told you guys earlier um, in the vlog, she had some things that she had to get done to her teeth. And I'm not excited about that because my girl is, is a little dramatic on top of the, the uncomfortableness that already comes from getting your teeth drilled and stuff at the dentist. Um, and it's just not fun for our kids. So I'm dreading it, but we literally have to get it over with. So Matt's here with the girls. They're over there trying to figure out some game system that was inside here. And today is literally just a mommy errand day because Kylan's also getting her teeth not cleaned, but they're putting something over them to basically protect her teeth from cavities. I forgot what they said they're called. Um, and then um, Kahari has to go get like this lead chest, this lead test. Um, I forgot I was supposed to get that done when they had their doctor's appointment. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I don't think I showed you guys that in this vlog, but I've just been doing a whole lot of mommy stuff, just catching up on stuff, just getting them together for school and just making sure that everything is what it's supposed to be because they don't want to be like me. 30 years old still dealing with teeth, teeth issues and that's what I was trying to tell Kaylani. She's not happy about it at all but yeah we're having a, a family day taking care of stuff for the kids. Um, I still want to braid Kaylani's hair so I might end up doing that with you guys later and I might not. I don't know but for now we are at the dentist taking care of what we need to take care of so mommies tap in and just enjoy. Enjoy slash not enjoy this mommy time with me. <laughs> Open big. There's nowhere for you to go. You gotta wait right here with the mummies. freaking wild because I was gonna vlog for you guys you guys saw we started off vlogging I was having Matt hold the camera because I was gonna hold it while she got her little finger pig or so I, <laughs> so I thought and then they tell me that she's getting a whole needle stuck in her arm as in like getting her blood drawn as in like grown people shit like I know kids get their blood drawn too but I have two kids y'all I never in my life experienced a baby getting their blood drawn like 
especially for like a lead test i thought all they needed to do was prick the finger like that was so i was so caught off guard with that so i didn't vlog that because i just i, I didn't know what was gonna happen and i just could not do that so anyways yeah she, handled it pretty good, though. yeah she handled it really good she was really nice she was sweet she subscribed to our youtube channel she Talk subscribed to mine <laughs> what she said what about the baby she had it really good Oh, the baby handled it really good? Oh, I thought you were talking about the lady. The lady handled it really good, too, though. Everybody handled it really good. The baby cried. But then I was like, do you want some some cookies and juice? I was trying to keep saying that because it all, that always does it. The cookies and the juice always does it. Like when we got Kylan's ears pierced, I was like, do you want a cookie? And then, well, we already had the cookies on deck because when we got Kai's ears pierced, she was two. So, um... Yeah, we had already had the cookies and stuff, but now we're on our way to the mall because her earring fell out. Okay, baby. You want to get some cookies and juice? Her earring fell out, but I think they have this policy to where um, if you have the back to the earring, they'll still give you another earring, I think, so we'll see. And we're going to go get some cookies and juice. Cookies and juice, baby, and some food because we're hungry. So, yeah, we'll see what we can see at the mall. I haven't been to the mall in a while. I don't like window shopping. If I go to the mall, it's because I need to buy something. I do have a Florida trip coming up, so we'll see. Bad on anything. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
I'm gonna go ready for the dolly, and my mom told me to. But anyways, I'm doing the video today. But I'm gonna tell you where we went today. So we went to the mall and got pretzels and boba, and we had to with friend. We asked for the boba too. And this is my little sister. <laughs> okay, go put your doll away. And I just picked her up. Go put your doll away. Uh oh. All right guys, so I made it back home from all of the things that we have done. And I was gonna braid Kaylani's hair like I told you guys, but it is late y'all. We did a lot of things today. The day just went by so freaking fast. And now all I wanna do is eat my Charlie's and take a shower and chill for the rest of the night. So. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I still have to edit it and get it posted tonight. You guys, I'm trying to get my videos posted Friday nights by 6, but it's past 6. So we're going to see if we could be better next vlog. Next vlog, I'm hoping for it to be a maintenance vlog so I can pack and maybe hopefully get my hair done. I don't know if I'm doing it myself or if I'm getting it done. I don't know. Um... But that'll be in the next vlog, preparing to go to Florida. So I'm going to wrap this video up, you guys. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around for my just day in the life type vlogs. I'm looking at Kahari because she keeps trying to climb on my bed. That's why we need to get our bed up higher and off of the floor. I cannot wait to get a freaking bed stamp, but I'm trying not to rush so I can actually get the one that I want. But anyways, guys, like I said, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below and let me know. Hey, girls, go on my video. Let me know what type of videos that you guys want to see from me on my channel. I've really been just sticking to mostly like lifestyle vlogs and just... You know, being that relatable mom, woman in general, I haven't really done any wife stuff, but you guys know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um, comment below and just let me know what you guys want to see from me. But that is going to be it. Like I've said three or four or five times already. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have not done this yet, make sure you guys go subscribe, turn on the notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Pop out girls. Peace. Pop out girls.